Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying well and staying safe. In this update, I wanted to talk about the role that each and every one of you plays in our national response to this global challenge. By now, nearly 6 million people have downloaded the COVID Safe app to help with contact tracing. As the National Science Agency, CSIRO has been involved in reviewing the code and providing technical input into the development of the app. We've never used apps to fight a pandemic before, so there's lots of ongoing work to continuously improve. This week, we published research with our partners in the Global Carbon Project that found daily global carbon dioxide emissions from fossil fuels declined by up to 17% in April as people left airports, roads, factories and offices and stayed home. Looking beyond COVID-19, we're also working on the role that each and every one of us can play in preventing another pandemic. Last year, more than 700,000 people died around the world from drug-resistant superbugs. Part of the problem is overuse of antibiotics. In fact, we did a study with the University of Technology, Sydney, and found 92% of Australians don't know the difference between viral and bacterial infections, leading many people to take antibiotics unnecessarily. Antibiotics, of course, don't work on viruses. This is one pandemic we can all play a role in preventing by understanding how we manage our own health. You should also consider the flu vaccine this year. And you may not know, but CSIRO developed the first drug successful at treating the flu. So whatever the threat, you can rest assured that your National Science Agency is on the case. Stay well, stay safe, and you'll be hearing from us again soon.